guys, welcome back. This is the Spirit Mongo 187, and welcome back for another match of Shadow Era where we are still playing lands and we are now facing a Jericho Spellbane. Well, I haven't played against a Jericho for a very long, long time, so I think we are going to do good against him. Uh, let's get rid of the server dice because I don't think after the update or the release of Dark Prophecies that he isn't a very good hero anymore. So, uh, enough said about that. We are uh, we have faced a Moonstalker in our latest match. Uh, before that, we have two matches of Eladwin. Uh, those went pretty nice, pretty smooth. Uh, but against Moonstalker, we were. Uh, a bit behind the whole match, so we have uh, lost it pretty fairly. He was really the better player, or he really had the better cards. Well, I was really doubting about some cards that that Moonstalker deck played, like Pack Wolf and the other Wolf that says 3 4 regenerates 1 health. I'm really not a really big fan of those two cards, but he won, so he was doing something good, so. Um, let's get rid of a. We want to keep that because that's our only ally. Let's get rid of one seductress. And. Do we want to play this? We're going to pump it up then. And we can only attack it for two next turn. Now let's just wait it out. Let's give our opponent the high. Fun. Normally, I say always play a card. At least, if you didn't play any card the first three turns, I think you have a really bad start. But here, it, I don't really see why I should play that card. Well, now maybe I should do it, but yeah, it was really not a really good move, so I didn't play it. Uh, let's get rid of our Stop the Thief and play an Ill Gotten. Always try to get that out as quick as you can. Sometimes you do not really have the time to play the card, but uh, always try it out to get it on, on on the board as quick as possible. There comes a wizard staff. We are going to remove that one as quick as possible. So that means we are going to take some more damage from the uh, champion of Eren. It's also going to give us another resource that we could use. I'm going to skip it and remove it and draw a card from it. And we're just going to end turn here. So next turn we have all options open. We can destroy him. We can disable him with our seductress. And we can give uh, how we're going to destroy him. We're going to play a three resource cost ally and we can activate the ability and then destroy him with the assassination but I don't think we are going to do that and um, why not because we are going to destroy this champion of Aaron first Ooh, this is pretty hard what are we going to sacrifice do we even want to sacrifice something because I'm thinking about playing this Rider of Elos and destroying him. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of the Tainted Oracle. Because we are already drawn enough cards here. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Give him plus one. Use our ability. And taking him down. And drawing a card as well. He is also going to draw two cards, but that was more or less inevitable because he already did some fair amount of damage, bringing me down to 21. And the opponent is still sitting at 26, his starting health. What I really think is that Jericho should start at least at 30 health as priest. Why didn't they give him 30 health? His ability is not bad, but it's not very good either. So. Mm. 
Okay, that's a very nice card. There with, with that card you can destroy a Rider of Elos, but I'm glad mine has stealth. So we are going to assassinate him, I think. Boom, take me down to 16. There's an little cotton. We'll just keep that in hand. Well, we do want to get rid of him. But maybe we want to play this Seductress first. But if we play that, he can remove the negative ability. So let's just assassinate him. Yeah, we're going to assassinate. And we're going to lure out on. How do you call it? A tidal wave. So we're going to play our Night Owl. And I think he's going to tidal wave this turn. Uh, I could have kept it in hand, but only this one on the board, the Rider of Elos. It's not enough. It's not enough board presence. Only one 4 4 ally. So. Well, at least in my opinion. If I played nothing the turn and ended it, um, you would maybe play a play a bigger ally and then I will be in problems again a bit. Not much because I have very good hand but now I got an ill garden in play, I draw enough cards so if he destroys them both it doesn't matter that much. What's that? A scepter? I do not know that card. <laughs> to give me some more damage so with this deck yeah you 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 receive lots of damage with it I'm always like a 10 or less health sometimes yeah. um, what does this card say if you attack this turn the opponent takes two or gain damage okay that's why he died um, what are we going to play? Well, I think we're going to cast Tainted Oracle here. Yeah. And yeah, we can sacrifice this. So with the Tainted Oracle, we are going to draw some cards. And we'll just end turn here. Normally, I would have kept the ill gotten, but. If he plays a tidal wave or destroys it, I have this tainted oracle in play. So I'm drawing enough cards, and I have enough cards in my hand. I'm going to shuffle back my Rider of Elas. Book of Curses, giving all my Elas minus one. Attack. Take me for two more. I'm just going to use this ability. That's not nice. Um, well, let's just say we are not going to sacrifice anything, I think. This one has one durability left. Okay, so we are going to keep this one just in hand. And we are going to play the right of Eagles, I think. And then we have four mana spent. Four resources, sorry. Um, should I give it haste? Should I play a jasmine? Or we're just going to skip this. We're going to play the jasmine. And well, I do not. I'm not going to remove any of these cards. I think. Let's just. Um, I want to use that ability. No, it adds nothing. Mm. I want to play the Rider of Elos. Yeah, let's just play this one. If he has a tidal wave, then let it be. Maybe we should attack then. Mm. Yeah, why not? We got an ankle breaker in our hand, so we're just going to attack him. So if he's going to play a tidal wave, at least I did 3 damage. If I didn't have the ankle breaker in my hand, I would not give it haste, I think. Because I want to have a backup if he plays something really scary. But now if he plays a tidal wave, I don't care. 
I have a raven wild right in my hand. That's enough firepower. I have the ankle breaker, so. Let's just see what he's going to play. He got seven resources. This is a really strange deck. A really fat, large deck. <laughs> and let's just check out our rating again. 200 points right where we left off. And let's go and play a define something. I forgot what it does. And then define connection detects you here because of your attachment over there. Okay. That's very nice for you. So let's just play an ankle breaker and take some damage. And we have drawn a Aeon Stormcaller, that's really nice. So you really need to top that now, and he has a really fat deck, so I hope he's going to draw some shitty cards. That's his own fault, because he's playing a very, very nice deck. So now is the chance very big that he's going to draw something that he can't use. Or he can use it, but it's not, it's not really something game-changing. or. And we do it. He has the resources to, to play it. I don't think there's a card in this game that costs more than seven resources. Maybe eight, one of the artifacts or something. The weapons. Let's see. So I skipped the sacrifice over turn. And well, this one doesn't do anything good. As we can remove the negative condition. So we're going to play uh, this is throwed out big. These two and give him two more damage. So next turn if he doesn't play any artifact or something we're going to move the book of cursed I think. And we're keeping our A on in hand just in case. So if not, the tidal wave is coming. So he's immune to damage now for next turn, I think. The fifth card says. Um, let's just skip this here. Remove that one. And yeah, why not? Just throw out this bad boy here. And he does not receive damage. Okay. It's nice. And turn. Next turn we're going to swing in for a lot of damage, 10, 12 damage at least, if he's not going to do anything about it. Well there comes the Tainted Oracle, that's very nice for him. But we are going to disable it with our Jasmine. And let's just skip it out here. Fleet Footed Messenger, use the ability. I only play one of the Fleet Footed Messenger. So this is a very nice card. I think this is a win. The Allen. I played two Allen the Braves, by the way. And one Fleet Foot Messenger. That Messenger was kind of random, but I really like it. It is random. Yep, that's it. 15 damage, and there he goes. So our 5th or 4th match with Lance going to be a win and we have 210 rating points so we need 90 more to reach at least 300 because we want to be in the top 100 players this season and which that ended on the 31st of October and all the players receive some shadow era crystals or foil cards or booster packs or something I don't know but I want to uh, at least finish in the top 100 um, yeah, I hope you liked this match. Do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, and uh, we'll see you next match. Cheers!